we're going to check out these new buckets here from Spider Farmer. These came out in uh, December of uh, 24. This bucket here I already have uh, built. I wanted to check out the system before I uh, showed it to you guys. This one here we're going to build together. Everything on this table here uh, came with the system. So everything you need to get up and running is here. Uh, it came with uh, clay pellets, the hydrocon. Uh, just make sure you wash this good before you use it. It comes really dusty. Uh, the pump. It's a four, a four outlet pump and uh, has a adjuster on here to adjust the pressure. Then we got the level kit so you can see your uh, water level. That will, that will go in uh, right here. And these two pieces here are part of your uh, ring system for the watering for when you have small plants. If you have a larger plant you're putting in here or clones, you shouldn't need these. Comes with uh, air stone. This is the first time using these kind of air stones. I normally use the two by four inch air stones. And it comes with a couple of air uh, valves so water doesn't run back into the air pump in case we uh, lose electricity. And it comes with a uh, air hose, which I cut in the four sections since we need four pieces of it. First thing we're gonna do is install this seal ring inside the bucket here that just goes in the bottom of the bucket then grab your water level tube and we'll slide that in it's a nice tight fit so it won't leak and there is a little uh, thing on here for this to slide under so it fits up inside there nicely. Then for the net cup, there's a little round section in here they want you to cut out. The reason we do that is this hose will slide up through here. And this will connect at the top. And you can turn this whichever way you want. And that will fit in there like that and water will come out. And I'll show you that in this bucket here in a second. To help water the plants before it has long enough roots to reach down into the bottom of the system. So how this works is. One of these hoses here come in through the top. It has little grooves in the bucket here, so you don't have to drill no holes in it. It'll go in through there, and it fits on like that with the lid on. Makes it nice. So one will actually go in here, and the other one will go into the air stone. How that works is the air pressure going up the tube actually siphons the water from the bucket up through the tube which I didn't expect that to work I've never seen that before so it's a very interesting design next we put the lid on it just snaps in place and I already have this uh, bucket set up so uh, the rest of this air tube is for this Second bucket, so we'll make these uh, air tubes equal length. That way we get uh, equal pressure to everything. So we'll uh, cut that in half here. And we'll run the, do the easy one first, the air stone. 
We'll just uh, toss that in the bottom here. <clears throat> now you don't have to use these. If you uh, set the pump up higher than the top of the bucket system, you won't need these uh, air uh, valves. So we're going to Now to find out which way these go, you can look at them also, but the easier way if you've never looked at them before is just try to blow air through them. That way you can't blow air. This way you can. So I'll tell you which way it needs to go. Or another thing you can do after you figure one out, you can look at the one right next to it. So that's how you do the one for the air. Then we're going to do the one for the water ring also. And uh, before we plug it in there, we'll just do it here real quick. I just have to put that inside the bucket and connect it here. Basically, that's all you got to do. We uh, set up a whole bucket already. Actually, I did forget something. There is a little air valve here we can install also. This goes in with the uh, water ring. So you can uh, turn down the rate that it, uh, water is going in. So I just need to find out which hose it is. But that's uh, pretty much all there is to setting it up. Pretty much just need a cleaner clay at this point. Grab the plants and uh, toss them all in. Put them under some light. Get them growing. I'll show you this one here in a second. So that one just goes like that. And if you turn it this way, you can see the your water level tube. 